Our season begins in um, late February, early March, when we plant our first broccoli crops. Uh, those crops will be planted under polythene to try and give them uh, an early advantage um, and hopefully reach maturity maybe one or two weeks earlier than they would without growing under polythene. Um, we continue planting throughout March, April, and we'll plant right up into, into July. Um, and by spreading our planting programme, that then gives us a, a, a harvesting programme which is spread out over um, four to five, five months. Plants in general will take about 85 to 90 days from planting date to, to maturity. I think there is one major difference between the broccoli and cauliflower planting programme and the sprout programme. With the sprout programme, we use varieties to stagger our harvest. So we plant four different varieties in a very short space of time in April, May, but those four varieties will mature over varying times from September right through to March, April the following year. In contrast, our broccoli, we don't so much use varieties to stagger our harvest, but we use planting dates. And that is why we plant broccoli from March right through to July. And so those different dates will mature at different periods in the summer and autumn. We have been growing um, one variety of broccoli this year which has um, very high levels of um, nutrients which are beneficial in fighting cancer. So, so we are going down the route of seeing whether we can take you know, the existing products and through um, trialling different varieties whether we can uh, um, developed something which has improved health benefits or there is another variety we've been growing which is um, um, labelled as super, super sweet because it's trying to put some of the flavour back into probably broccoli and tastes more like broccoli that we grew 20, you know, 20 years ago. Growing vegetables in the summer months your demand for those products is very much dictated by the weather. If you get periods in the summer of very high temperatures in the 20 degrees, mid 20 degrees, the demand for broccoli and cauliflower can virtually disappear overnight. Because of that we use a freezing, a customer who requires freezing broccoli and cauliflower as an outlet if the fresh market demand, demand falls. So we can, we can, at times during the summer where everybody else is enjoying the sun, we find that's potentially one of our most challenging times because we're growing a produce that um, people tend not to eat when it's particularly sunny. In contrast, the Brussels sprouts, which we're growing as a winter crop, once we get into the autumn and the temperature falls, it is much easier to predict the demand for Brussels sprouts. And as a result, um, we don't freeze any Brussels sprouts, they're all grown for the fresh, fresh market.